How's it going everyone? In this video we're going over all the new watch faces like you see right here that's being added on watchOS 26 and we're checking it out also on the Apple Watch Series 10. And yes, of course, I'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the video description down below for your pleasure. So Apple this morning released their keynote. They finally got done with it. And not only did we get a handful of amazing hardware and features, but they also gave us a brief preview on all the new upcoming changes that's coming on the software side of things. And this video, we're covering the Apple Watch because today, this morning, watchOS 26 RC got released, which means this is the complete version that's coming out to everybody on September 15th. So again, we have it installed right here on our device and let's go over the new changes. So one of the new changes is probably this new lock page you notice. If you watched my videos in the past, this was new. The Apple updated the lock pin for all the Apple Watches featuring that cool liquid glass design, which you'll find it everywhere else. But first thing first I'd like to go ahead and cover is the new watch faces. So this is an Ultra 2 watch face and we got given this new Waypoint watch face. But if we go and add a new wallpaper watch face, I mean, and you'll see we not only got given Waypoint, but we also got the new Flow one, as well as this one, Exacto Graph. So let's go ahead and quickly go over Waypoint. So the Waypoint does feature a digital design, analog design if you like. If you select analog, from here you have the ability to actually like filter certain compass backtracking back points you've created in the past. So when you use the backtrack feature, you could actually bookmark landmarks and you could actually include it right here in the filter. And you could filter out what you want to filter and what you don't want to filter. It's kind of cool. I'll go in greater detail in a future video. Since this just came out, I just recently have been experimenting with it. I haven't found anything interesting yet that I have to share about this. But in the next page, you have the ability to adjust the digital style if you want on the right side or on the left side. Great if you're right or left-handed or you can remove it all entirely. But if we switch to the side, yes, it does feature night mode because if we go into on, this is how it looks like in night mode, but you do have the ability to go on off or leave it on auto. And you have a variety of different color choices to choose from. All the color choices we are familiar with the past, we can actually switch to this. But apparently green is their native look. And of course we got complications. You can add, add up to four. And then by exiting out of there, this is how it looks like gives you compass information as well as your previous landmarks you have created in the past from hikes and such and you got a compass compass down here as well but then if we switch to the other watch faces click on it right here you have flow as well as this bottom one which i currently have on my series 10 i've been testing it out this is the larger size series 10 watch face and this is one of the new ones which does this cool crazy animation which i gotta say it's definitely unique i wasn't expecting apple to actually do something like that but in terms of always on display features if i cover this up this is how it looks like it does feature the second hand right here then if we go ahead and switch to the flow watch face, this is my favorite watch face. Hopefully the camera can pick this up. Hopefully it's not too bright, but think of this kind of like a uh, lava lamp as it does have, like it does move based off the rotation of your wrist, which is kind of cool. And if we go ahead and long hold and go into color, let's change it to a color that's better on camera. I think this is a good one, this darker one. Here you have a better, here you can see better on how the liquid actually moves in here and then always on display does still feature the liquid, but it's just not as responsive. But if we long code and go in custom and we go into background, you have the ability to remove the background if you don't like that liquid just moving in the back. But for a typeface, you have this one, which was featured in Apple's keynote. And then you go back to the standard like number dial layout if it's easier to read which i have to admit i think it is easier to read this way this one the original one it's kind of hard to tell what time that is but unfortunately apple did remove a couple of watch faces on watch os 26 where last year on watch os 11 the explorer watch face is gone well now newly removed is the toy story watch face vapor liquid metal water and fire and granite has been removed as well but going back to the Apple Watch Ultra, a new feature that was actually added and tweaked can be located in the Sleep app. It has a new updated icon. It's now purple instead of previously it was blue. But when you click on it, here you can actually take a look at your sleep score. This is the new graph and this is how it looks like. I don't have any data because I haven't been sleeping with my Apple Watch in quite a while. But I believe after five to like a week of using this for sleep tracking, 
it will then start filling up this graph. Think of this like a credit score. You can actually see where you're struggling or where you need some sleep improvements. But going down here, everything else pretty much remains the same. But pretty soon you'll have the ability to actually view your, your blood pressure on the Ultra 3 as well as the latest generation Series 11 Apple Watch. And then another new feature that Apple introduced, your Apple Watch detects you're draining its battery life a little bit quicker than it should. A notification will pop up letting you know to enable low power mode to make sure your Apple Watch can make it throughout the entire day. So that's a new little warning right there that'll pop up. Additionally, along with this new update, we also receive updates icons for some existing apps. The stock app also received a minor update as well, as this is how the new stock app icon looks like. And in the notes app, which is a newly added app for the Apple Watch, I'll cover all that in a little bit. But and that looks like how the note app icon looks like on your iPhone. Previously, it used to look like how it did on the Apple Vision. Additionally, if you long code anywhere over here, you now have finally the ability to actually delete some of these apps from here instead of having to slide to the right and left. And if you look closely, if you go all the way to the very bottom, you'll also discover that the grid also got redesigned as well right here. The grid kind of has like a new animated update. And then previously the double tap gesture, this used to be a feature that was in introduced last year on compatible Apple watches. Well, you can now do a flip gesture instead, which allows you to dismiss the control center, the notification, as well as simply flip your wrist to dismiss calls, text messages, notifications, as well as timers. And if you don't like the flip gesture, you could always hop into settings, go into the gesture tab and scroll down until you find the wrist flip and this is where you can disable that if you don't like that now the workout app received a massive overhaul the layout's much cleaner than ever before as now whenever you click on it as the layout has been totally overhauled and you can categorize between the many different workouts by just using your digital crown you can scroll all the way down to the very bottom and add some more as well but it also features that liquid glass design on some of these icons but down here you'll find your workout buddy, which you can enable, change the voices between three different voice options, disable or engage, and you can allow it to target like certain alerts for your heart rate, time, and etc. I have used workout buddy in some of my workouts and it's actually quite pleasant, especially when it tells you you're at your half point. But now this little music note icon, by clicking on here, you could allow your Apple Watch to automatically play music based off the selection you have here. So if you have Apple Music, you could choose the media manually you can select between your playlist or songs or track or albums or you can allow the apple watch using apple music intelligence to select the right songs you like to listen to while you're workout so it basically uses machine learning to actually identify the type of music you enjoy and will automatically play once you start a workout and then above here you have your workout settings for your goals as well as your workout views if you like to customize what page you like to see instead whenever you start a workout then if you ever start one of these workouts, you'll soon discover there's audio waves on the side over here. When you see it waving like this, it means that the voice narrative for your workout buddy is actually talking to you. And when it's grayed out, it means it's not saying anything. But if you go to your far left and go down, you'll also see a mute tool pop up if you have wireless earbuds connected. During your workout, you'll see like a red audio wave on the top right of your Apple Watch. Now the smart hint. Now it's compatible on every single watch base, even the most complicated ones. And the most easy one to activate if you just want to preview it is when you take out your phone and just simply launch the camera app. And then while using your iPhone's camera, a little smart hit will pop up. If you click on it, it will quickly take you to your smart stacks and will allow you to have quicker access to launch that third party app that you're connecting to, like our camera app. It's even smart enough to detect when you lose reception in case you're out for a hike, you'll see like a backtrack smart hint icon allowing you to quickly enable the backtrack. Now, if you don't like it to automatically enable, we also have a new setting to disengage that in the settings and scroll down in smart stacks, widget suggestions, scroll down, and here's where you can manually disable it if you don't like it at all. Now, if you ever get out of the watch face and we switch to like a, the white layout watch face, Every button you press will have a little divot animation now, including the digital crown. And if you have an Apple Watch with the action button, the action button also has a new animation as well. It's similar to like how it is on the iPhone whenever you press one of these volume icons or the 
silent action button switch or even the power button it does that little animation it's now located on the apple watch itself now the liquid glass is found everywhere it's in control center as well as your notification tab but in control center there's a massive overhaul here as the layout's a lot cleaner than ever before but now if you click the low power mode or the battery percentage icon if you scroll down you can monitor the rest of your your Apple accessories battery life levels right here. Like I have my AirPod case as well as the AirPods. But in addition to that, you also find the control center now supports third parties shortcuts as well. By tapping the edit button and you tap the plus up here, you could do smart home appliances like smart kit, compatible accessories and such, camera control, accessibility. And if you keep going down, you'll even find support for like third party apps. Like my Porsche, I could control my vehicle from here. My F-150 could also be controlled by Ford Pass, as well as Tesla controls. Even my solar system can be controlled off these like shortcuts right here. So here on top, I have the ability to quickly turn on my vehicle's AC to cool down. I can just toggle it right here and disengage it like so. And then if you like to reverse back to uh, the original layout in case you gave yourself so much, by going into settings and going to the control center, here's a new setting. Or you can actually reset the control center layout if you like to reverse back to default. Now real quick, if you could take two seconds to kindly hit that like button on like, those truly help out the channel. As you are personally supporting the channel this way, this way we don't have to have brands for so sponsorship segments or so, taking like a minute or two off your time. So big thank you to those that continue hitting the like button on like, it really does mean a lot. Let's carry on. Now the new Notes app, this is the app that was recently added to the Apple Watch. And if you ever use the Apple Note app, it's very much very self-explanatory. It automatically will synchronize with your iPhone whenever you create a note on your iPhone or the app watch. And your ability to write notes, you can use dictation, scribbles, or even the keyboard if you like to reverse back to that. So a lot of options right here to quickly create notes or read cheat sheets or notes on your wrist without bringing out your phone. And speaking of phone, if you take off your device off silent mode, there's now a new adaptive environment sound notification, which your Apple Watch will automatically adjust in case you're outdoors or indoors. If you're inside a library, if the Apple Watch notices that your environment is pretty quiet, your notification will not be loud. And then in the outside setting, in a loud environment, your notification will be extremely loud. You could adjust this auto aggressiveness with three different settings. You could find it in the settings app. In here, go into sound and heptics, and then where it says automatically adjust audio, enable this. And then in here, you can select between these three different levels on how aggressive you like it to be. And I've used it quite a bit, and to my surprise, it works extremely well. Another app that received an update is the Message app. The new Apple Watch Message app now features the ability to add background wallpapers. So now you can see your created wallpapers in here. As well as you also have the ability to respond to polls if somebody created one. And then when receiving a phone call, if you're left on hold, you could always put your iPhone on hold assist and your Apple Watch will notify you when the hold is done. In addition to that, this will also support live transcripts as well. But other than that, there you guys have it. Now you are up to date on all the new changes, new features that's coming your way as soon as this new version of watchOS 26 is officially released for everybody else in the next week. Again, September 15 seems to be the release date when Apple's gonna roll this out to everybody else. So as your device supports it, this is the new software updates and new features that's coming out your way. Thank you so much for watching. Now real quick, if you'd like to watch more, and be like to catch up on see what's new on the Apple CarPlay side of things, I go in greater detail in this video over there because there actually is well over 25 new changes and new features that Apple secretly added on the CarPlay side of things for iOS 26 RC. Highly recommend checking out that video over there so you are informed what's coming out and you know exactly how to utilize it. Thank you so much for watching.